Alright, ladies and gents of YouTube, we are back here with yet another video reaction. We're about to do five scary videos that'll make your jaw drop by Sir Spooks. Now, normally we do Nukes Top 5, but this was a suggestion from Kumi, so we're gonna see how it goes. I'm here with my Twitch chat, and I guess this is gonna be a truly terrifying experience. And if it's not, then I'm gonna be, like, hella sad. Hey, Light Matter, yeah, you're late for Dauntless, but you can join us for reactions. We're about to watch this five scary videos. Oh yeah, Rypos, please, give me the SCP-999. And sure, Chab, I'll, I'll try and do the 20 seconds one, may as well. I mean, I won't film it for YouTube because it's too short, but I will uh, definitely react to it. Like, we may as well throw it on, you know? Some Chaba material. It looks like it'll be interesting. Okay, let's watch these five scary videos that'll make your jaw drop. Here we go. Oops, why is it blocked out? Okay by Sir Spooks. Hello everyone, my name I love is you, Sir Light Spooks, Matter. and Welcome. today we'll take a look Check at five out. scary videos that will make your jaw drop. Tonight's video is brought to you okay. by Myth Metzger's Darkest. 20,000 year old mysterious tunnels which were hidden from us for a long time. What you don't see in this area are hundreds upon hundreds of underground tunnels. Could it be that these tunnel systems are the first evidence of teleportation? Crazy idea, right? But it gets crazier. Well-known archaeologists okay. from famous universities worldwide have examined it and came across something All right, I'll look forward to it, Chad. That place where the basic materials of things dissolve themselves to the other side. This is an Erdstahl. Follow the link in the video description and learn more about this and some more mysteries in a documentary, Myth Metzger's Darkest, on Amazon. Okay. Thanks for that Amazon advertisement. <laughs> <coughs> a TikTok user going by the username I'm Sammy Guess recorded the following video and uploaded it to the social media platform on May 15th, 2019. Okay, okay. In the video, she starts off by saying that she is about to watch a movie, but says she is going to get a drink in the other room before doing so. Okay. As she sings and dances her way into the kitchen, she opens up the fridge and gets the juice out and places it on the countertop. The moment she does this, however, something bizarre happens. This person sounds like they're 13 years old, you know? Are they allowed to be on this list? Shouldn't they be on some kind of other list? <laughs> yeah. What the hell is wrong with this small child? Okay. Well, they're brave Hello? at least. Uh, right then. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Oh, no, 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 no. I love how even when running away, they sound super happy, like some kind of, some kind of, uh, some kind of oompa loompa, you know, when they're running away, they're like, no, 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 oompa loompa, no, 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 oompa loompa. No, 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 orange juice, no, 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 no. They sound, they sound literally so happy when running away that I find it hard to believe that they are even fearing any of this phenomenon. So. Are you scared, little oompa loompa? It is quite strange that the water bottle moved all by itself and landed on the ground the instant she set the juice container down. Some people may understandably think that this is fake, because why would she record this video if she didn't know that something worth filming was going to happen? Then again, it is still a video that will keep you guessing. Yeah, it'll keep me guessing why she was so happy throughout the entire process. No, 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 no. Oh my god, ghost. No, 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 no. Oh my god, ghost. The fuck. The fuck. Can I just say it again? The fuck. 
so damn fake. You know, I think my Twitch chat agrees. I think I agree. I think my wife would agree. Eh. Fake. All right, let's look at number four. What do we got? User Chastity Panita TV shared this video over on my very own Sir Spooks subreddit. Where you can share any and all paranormal footage Take you may time, have light matter. for a chance to be featured on a video just like this one. The uploader Chastity explains that the events that you're about to witness were captured on the same- Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. My wife just said she believes. Okay, wait, wait, this, this is some good shit. Honey, wh why do you say that you believe that that was, uh, that was real? Like, I mean, for me personally, I did not, uh, I did not sense any fear. In the lady so i'd love to hear your opinion for uh why why you think that that was real you know and uh of course while we will we'll watch on a little bit while you take your time explain the water bottle could have been strings could have been anything that we can't see off camera like it the moment she set down the thing though the water just went and flew off so for me, I find that hard to uh, hard to fathom that uh, that one was real. At least, at least in my opinion, you know, could be real, maybe. But yeah, no, nah, I I don't like the uh, the ones where things move because there are many ways that you can automate things. You know, could have been mechanics, could have been this and that. To me, it looked more like it was yanked. Green screen? Green screen, maybe not. But there could be like, okay, well, we know that the chairs would have, like, because there was a plug going into the back of the chair. So maybe there are some electronics that is moving the chair. I mean, to me, I would think that, but definitely not green screen. Yeah, I agree on that. I agree on that. All right. Well, I guess that one's open to interpretation. My person, my I personally say I think it, I think it's not true, but my wife believes it might be true. Interesting, interesting. Well, you guys on YouTube can decide for yourself. Let's watch the next one. Let's see what else is going on. Same day, whereas some were captured on following days. Okay. She says, "Quote: My motion sensor camera catches things moving on camera." Uh. This is what it called. End quote. Watch we then see creepy wrist. footage okay. of what looks to be the basement in her house, which okay. seems to be completely devoid of anything but various different household items. However, if you take a look to the right for just a brief second, you can see something incredibly strange appear out of nowhere. Take a look. Okay. Okay, In the following for? clip, Chastity says that her camera picked up emotion, but she is unable to see what could have possibly caused the camera to detect that. Okay. Although she says she kept hearing weird sounds coming from the area. <laughs> I'm in the then, way. A little while later. But okay, just so that I'm not in the way, right? Um, let me go V cam. Okay. Just so you know that I'm not in the way of anything occurring. Alright, I'll, I'll move it back to where he showed the circle. Probably strange appear out of nowhere. Alright. Take a look. He points to that side of the screen, but there ain't nothing there. It's blank. In the following clip, Chastity says that her camera picked up emotion, but she is unable to see what could have possibly caused the camera to detect that. Although she says she kept hearing weird sounds coming from the area. I'll then, definitely review a your clip while after later, this ends. Various different objects in the room begin to move all on their own without any explanation. Oh, uh, shadow? Okay. Well, I know you can't see my face right now, but all right. Another night then. Let's see. Okay, the swing's moving. Sir Spooks got lame. <laughs> I think a lot of the video content creators, and don't mind me saying this, you know, even Nuke's content lately has not been scary at all. No, there's nothing frightening in there, you know. I guess I guess COVID has been affecting the ghosts even. 
anyway. Okay, so we got this swing set moving. We got that falling over. All right. Well, not everybody can keep up being on fire, I guess. Yeah, I agree, Kaz. No one was going ghost hunting during COVID, that's true. So I it guess like there isn't there really much footage of, like open, right now, you know. So that wind could come in and cause these things to move around. So who no, knows Chabba, what at the end of this, then we'll watch you. series of events to happen. Okay, okay, hold up. So, so what do you guys think on that one? I think the sing set is creepy, but for me, the only thing that I felt was somewhat realistic was the stick falling over. To be fair, I didn't see the shadow one. I can't lie that I saw the shadow one, but what do you guys think? What do you guys think about that one? What is your opinion? Okay, Kumi says, indeed creepy. Mm. Creepy as hell, okay, okay. I mean, I guess if you were to put a motion sensor down there and uh, catch that kind of stuff going on in your basement, you probably need an exorcism of some kind. Chaba, English only in chat, you know that. Okay. You know the rules. All right. Next one. For many. Okay, it's a doll. Dolls are usually somewhat decent and, and creepy, I'm assuming, so... Hey people, dolls or mannequins give No, we can't creeps. ban Chaba, he's a friend. There's just something a little bit uncanny and about he's going doll, you are, he's, whether it be he's the Chaba, creepy eyes to or other realistic features that are off-putting. Many movies have been made focusing on scary dolls, and it's not hard to see why. This video was uploaded to you. Wait a second, Kaz, do you remember if this was the doll that we saw at one point? I think I think we did watch a video a long time ago. Something similar to this. Do you remember the, the, the puppet doll that could move on its own or something like that? That was spooky. But I think it was a long time ago that we watched that. I think it was on one of our Sundays where we were just chilling, watching some creepy shit, and we watched uh we watched some dolls walking. Yeah, it looks like it. You know, I remember something like it. Something that looks like it. You want to meet the Annabelle doll in the War Museum? Maybe you get a chance someday. It's YouTube Toba. on the channel, yeah. Spooky Links, in which we can see a doll that is strung up and swaying quietly from side to side for several minutes. The uploader explains that by having the doll hanging like that, it causes it to move every once in a while all by itself. This goes on for quite some time, and it may seem as though nothing insanely creepy happens. That is, until much later in the video. At around the 7 minute mark, the doll <laughs> no, makes a movement friend. We don't put that is so specific we let him run and unsettling and that some people believe that the only possible explanation behind this is that a ghost is in the room with the channel owner moving the doll. Take a look at okay. what happens. Okay, so... Okay, so before we watch this clip, we know for the facts. We know the facts are, number one, the doll can swing freely and that will cause it to move on its own a little bit. But what we don't know is what is actually going to happen to this doll during this clip. So let's watch it right now and see whether or not there's anything so, yeah. spooky in there. I'm just going to sit in here and, uh, and hopefully uh, catch something. Oh. Okay, it's hand I'm watch TV. Time lapse this. I'm gonna set this up for time lapse. I love how it's the hand. Way the doll's hand moved. moves closer towards its chest. Seems extremely precise, 
and it's quite scary to watch if this really is a ghost doing this. There could be some sort of string attached to it that we can't see. But what do you think happened with the doll? Was it moved by a string? Was there actually a ghost in the room that moved its hand? No. Or is this doll in... This is one where I won't say it's fake. Not just because I find dolls very frightening. I, I hate dolls. But if that was done with a string motion, because the doll is strung up, the rest of the doll would have moved somewhat in the direction of the... Uh, of the string pulling that hand also the motion was very unnatural i don't know i i think i think right. this one Possessed. might be kind of real your thoughts in the comments but either way dolls dolls and me do not know dolls and me know no what do you, i mean i don't know that that's my thoughts on it what do you guys think what do you guys think okay kumi believes it might have a small motor in it Yeah, we would need proof that it doesn't have mechanics. If we could get that. Like, can be fake still. Maybe eating animals. Maybe maybe you're not wrong. Maybe you're not wrong. But yeah, no, I think, to me, I'm getting a, I'm getting a vibe on this one. I think, I think I'm actually going to stand that it might be real. It might be real on this one. Especially because dolls have always weirded me out. And I think I can... Uh, I think I see, I think I can see one when uh, it really gets weird. Okay, let's watch number two. The <laughs> I probably wouldn't either. Normal investigators are a group of YouTubers that explore various different abandoned and haunted locations in the hopes of catching something paranormal on camera to a large audience. In an upload of theirs published online on March 2nd, 2019, the team goes exploring around what seems to be some okay. sort of a cemetery as many gravestones can be seen on the ground. For a while, nothing out of the ordinary happens until the person filming captures something absolutely hair-raising. Have a look and see. I don't get scared very often. Okay. Stacy, am I fucking seeing things? What is that? <laughs> I have to say a little something. The, 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 the very second that they said, Stacy, am I seeing things? The only thing going through my head was, Stacy's mom has got it going on. <laughs> was that a tree or was that something else? Fear, fear raiders is fake as fuck. Yeah. I saw a shroud in there. I mean, I. Where is it? What is that? I guess you could see something in the darkness. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I don't it's know like a dude in there. In a reaper type monk outfit. It's kind of weird. Just moments before the dark figure can be seen, if you listen extremely carefully, you can hear what sounds like some sort of growling coming from nearby. Mm. It is just a few seconds later when the team captures the dark figure, which seems to be sitting down and causes them to understandably get freaked out. They begin to slowly walk away from it, and it is never seen again in the video. What do you think was captured on camera mm. at the cemetery that day? As always, all of your ideas and opinions are greatly appreciated in the comment section down below. Okay, on this one... Yeah, it's a person wearing a hood, so honestly, I'm having a difficult time believing this one because... Stacy, am I crazy? Am I seeing things? I'm like... You probably are Stacy, or you're just trying to get famous on YouTube because it was so dark out there. Yeah, yeah, I call I call bullshit on this one. Yeah, if I really saw something like that, Fear Raider, man, I would shit my pants. And then Kaz would look at me and be like, I can't believe you shit your pants in this situation. <laughs> and that was my attempt at making her shoot coke out of her nose because, you know, that's my job. But anyway, um, realistically speaking, you know, 
I would shit my pants. Cavs would have to run after me while also condemning me for shitting my pants. Um, and realistically speaking, you know, I, <laughs> I find their reactions hard to believe. I don't know. I didn't get a vibe on that one. As compared to the doll, I didn't get a vibe on that one, so. <laughs> Bonk in the nuts, yeah. I, I dig that, I dig that, I feel that, I feel that. By the way, Erwin welcome to Red. Hope you're enjoying like your shit. Everyday wilderness adventurer right. who likes to film himself. Oh my god, it's Santa Claus. She would, she would have to protect me. And ladies and gents, I think this creepy video is about Santa Claus. That's Santa Claus. Don't you tell me I'm crazy. That's Santa Claus. That's Santa Claus right there. Okay. Exploring various different Sorry. locations. In this video that he uploaded on September 30th, <laughs> it's creepy already. Erwin starts to talk to the camera in a sort of rushed manner. He goes on to talk about this guy murders campers. that he's been seeing in this forest, and it doesn't yeah, take Kaz too would long carry me to, get to see what he is talking about. At around six minutes into the clip, now before we even hear this guy's voice, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my my honest impression of this guy's voice is that he's he's gonna sound something like this. All right, so I was out here in this here wood, right, and there was uh something crazy going on back there. So we gonna check it out, and gonna gonna find out what's going on. And I'm gonna sit down here in this here tree, and uh, you know we're gonna gonna summon some spirits, man. <laughs> Over or under four teeth. <laughs> well, we I guess we'll get to see. Without ho ho, I mean. I guess you could include that in the accent, something like, uh, I'm gonna sit down in this here ho 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 tree, and we gonna find out, you know. Erwin points his camera behind him, waiting to capture something on camera. In a matter when of you seconds, order Santa from Wish, the strange creature three teeth and one stump, Lol. which doesn't seem to startle Erwin in the slightest. In fact, he almost sounds happy to see it. Have a look and see what he filmed. He found a strange creature. Okay, this better be some Bigfoot shit. Let's go. Oh, I yeah. see. Yes. What? We've got the camera set up here, huh. yes. Yeah. He's just there. What are we looking at? Ah, you see? That was a quick glimpse there. Hmm. Okay. No, uh, he's not there. Okay. Um. My f I'm not blocking anything because I'm by the rocks, but. <laughs> this man living in, 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 in 2000 FPS because I saw shit all, man. <laughs> and the grass is unusually green today. Yeah, there's a glimpse right there. Some amount of drugs I've taken. Yes. Could just be the leaves. Oh, sorry about that. He was, he was doing your... Oh, oh, oh there oh, he is. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> there. Okay. Um, guys, I don't think he's lying anymore. Um. That's some that's some Dobby ass shit right there. No, no, Cass. Look, look. It's Dob Dobby, the motherfucking runaway elf right there. He trying to capture the elves from his. No, 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 no. See, it's a toba. That, no, that's no elemental spirit. That is the that is the creature that he's been forcing to make toys for children and escape from his workshop. So he came back. He came to the woods and he said, I'm going to find your ass. All right, Dobby, I'm going to find your ass. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to bring you back to my workshop. You're going to make toys for kids. You know? That's, that's, that's the elf right there. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Bennett. Bennett as Kaz... <laughs> Oh, That's so adorable. It's like, woo. Yeah, it's probably a gnome or some kind of pixie. Shot of, of one. Let me just, let's keep it up there. This is like some pants labyrinth shit. I know, it's a baby monkey. Yeah. The small creature that you just saw is presumably that. It, it, it's presumably that little gnome thing. But you know what else, guys? You know what else? I'm going to show you a special gesture. Apes together. Strong. <laughs> That right there is uh, Caesar's little baby. You know, me and Kaz, we spent all of yesterday watching Planet of the Apes. So uh, I'm pretty sure that is Caesar's son, Cornelius, in his baby form. That of a pixie, which is a mythological creature in British folklore. 
No, I'm pretty sure that's just a monkey. Find them in areas of high moorland areas, and seeing as how the forest that Erwin is in looks very mossy, this makes a lot of sense. It's certainly hard to debunk the idea of this being a pixie, seeing as how it looks exactly like how they are usually depicted in folklore. Of course, this could be some other creature that happens to look like a pixie, but it wouldn't be too much of a surprise if it was eventually revealed that this man captured one of the most interesting mythical creatures on camera. Some people speculate that this pixie seems to be moving a little bit like a puppet, therefore being a hoax. But most people seem to be astonished by this video, claiming it to be the real deal. I don't think it's moving like a puppet. I think it's a creature. But is it a monkey or is it some other kind of creature? I think I'm leaning more toward Isatoba's, um, Isatoba's uh, comment that it might have been a might have been a elemental spirit like uh it could it could honestly in my opinion and, and i'm not tripping balls here guys um i legit think it was a wood spirit um I, I i think it was a wood spirit um it it looks similar to the lore that i've seen on um not dryads but i don't know how to say it in english um we tree tree sprite tree sprite tree sprite yes yes so um uh, the we asians we have a certain kind of mythology about um if if a tree or an area of vegetation forest forest is old very ancient and in the past humans used to go there or it used to be a place where humans were okay we the the trees can sometimes house these these spirits these um fruit sprites these forest sprites they look kind of like that they're, they're like tiny little things and um they require offerings from the people especially if people used to traverse in that area if they didn't offer it um the sprites would get angry and attack people so that looked like a very emaciated sprite or like kumi said a monkey that has had nothing good to eat in a long time but it was the way it moved <laughs> it was not kumi this time i agree with that it was the way it moved i think and kaz says leprechauns look different and are not nice that is true that is true um but yeah, I, I genuinely, like, I I'm, I'm swear I'm not tripping balls here. I, I think that that might have been a, a, a forest sprite. Legit, like, it, it looks like one. So, I don't know, man. Maybe it's a monkey. But out of everything that I've seen tonight, I would say I'm most inclined to believe that last one. I think that last one's pretty cool. All right, so, you know, I think we are... Uh, at the end of sir spook's shenanigans for today so thank you so much for joining me for watching this video it's been an absolute pleasure reacting to all of this with uh, all of you from twitch you know i appreciate that i appreciate y'all joining me you know for dauntless for twitch it has been a fantastic night now normally i would do another hour but i'm actually really tired and i want to spend some time with my wifey so i'm gonna go do that for those of you watching this on youtube don't forget to like share and subscribe and of course if you want to support my content drop a tip all right, using the link at the video. Oh, yes, we got to watch Chappa's one. Let me finish the recording first. We'll do that, and then I'll go offline. But, yeah. <laughs> Sprites and pixies have wings. Yes, I know. Asian mythology, they don't. Sprites do not have wings. So it could have been an Asian forest sprite, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for the 200 bits, eating animals. Eating yes, we will do animals Chappas right now. X200. Thank you, everybody. All right. We'll see you all in the next one.